Hi everyone and welcome back and welcome to the Ascalonian Catacombs on Guild Wars 2. Now this is just sort of a sneak peek video as I'm going to call it as I am planning to do a full sort of tactics video and what you might want to aim for in the instance as it's quite difficult I'd say it's not an easy by any means and it's not super difficult but you do want to know what you're doing because I'm going to show you the first three bosses on this video and I believe there is another oh, two, maybe one after what I did today because we had one guy leave unfortunately it was meant it was a party of five and he couldn't get back in I don't know if the server was messing up something weird happened but we went down to four and we managed to do the first two bosses and then uh, another guy left but third boss is really easy and we three manned it and it was two of our guys first time and we were lucky to have one guy on here who knew what to do and he was a level 65 thief I was level 30 I got in here as soon as I could at level 30 but this guy he's flipping level 65 and that's insane I think I know some people are already max level and whatever but I haven't seen anyone but this guy was 65 that's pretty far along but he was a nice guy he told us all what to do um, he could have just run ahead and done it all himself but he didn't. He uh, stayed about and uh, told us first and then went and did it. It was nice. It was good. It really helped. And so this is the first boss. There's quite a bit of sort of trash at the beginning. It's not really trash. And then there's sort of like traps and puzzle things and stuff to do at the beginning. It's not really a super puzzle. It's just putting a boulder on a trap uh, pressure plate, really. But yeah, I will do full tactics. Uh, earlier but I will just say there's like a trap room and you gotta shoot stuff on the walls there's uh, another trap room and you gotta run through quickly there's a few sort of uh, captains guarding the door so they are harder mobs you'll see that the, that guy there has gold around his name uh, with swords I think the other guys don't have the swords which signifies they're harder but not quite a boss like this guy um, and then you finally get to the stairs here you get a few cinematics in between and you get this guy so just briefly loads of ad spawn destroy the ads and then destroy him that's all i'm going to say for now um i will go into more depth later on but you'll see i get downed but people run over and help me up and stuff and if you do get downed it's uh the simplest thing to do if you totally die get defeated uh, is just to go to the waypoint and run back in it's not a super sized instance but there's quite a lot to do in it but it's just quick to run in and it's all cool so it's just a random group of five people really i just asked outside Ascalonian catacombs like what uh, I needed and well not what I needed just how many people I wanted and loads of people just whisked me like straight away and it was really good I, there's no planning like I was just gonna say wow like you're always looking for a tank always for a healer three DPS stuff like that but on here it was just really quick and we uh, got in and out well got in really fast because um I just added the first five people, four people that whispered me, and we had, what was it? At the beginning we had two rangers, one was me, uh, two necros, and a thief. But one of the rangers left, so we just had uh, just a me, necro, thief. So there's two thieves, two necros. Oh, I'm getting confused. It was like that. There's no real, like, um, structure that I went for. I just went in and seemed okay. We got most of the bosses down with less people. Uh, here's the cinematic you get after the first boss. I am just talking all over it, sorry. And yeah, the cinematic's awesome. It just adds to the story and keeps going and going and links to the next part. I thought it was only going to be one boss in. I thought it would be him. But um, he introduces the next few bosses in a second. He tells their name. And I swear one of them, what was his name? Uh, Ranger Nante. Oh, something like that. What is the henchman on Guild Wars 1 called? And I swear he is the boss in this instance, which I thought was really weird. Just but cool at the same time. It's linking in with number one. Uh, yeah. So if you destroy a boss, do not forget to get the chest. There it is over there. You don't just loot the boss. Everyone gets a chance to open this chest and get some loot. I did not get very much stuff. The last boss I got a flipping yellow rune thing, which is looks pretty nice. Nice to use. Hopefully there he is. There, I swear he is the um, henchman from number one that you can use if you don't have any friends and run out into the world. And obviously I use them all the time because I, I don't have many friends. I didn't have eight to go out with all the time. 
but this guy was even easier. The first one seemed the hardest, to be honest. It's all, all the um, ghosts on the way up are harder than the boss. Um, the first one had loads of ads come in, but this guy is just uh, he teleports around. You don't want to be near him, obviously. You're being hit. Um, I was tempting fate by saying, "Oh, I'm not getting hit," and then obviously I get hit by like the next ten attacks or something. And then I realised to my right there's a whole platform I can run round, and I didn't realise that until a few seconds, and I'll start moving in a minute. Yeah, this guy uh, teleports about, he has a pet, and things like that, so I'm not going to go into too much depth if you want to know. He, he is, he, easy. You can't just say tank and spank anymore, because no one tanks, because he um, likes to attack a lot of people, so you got to dodge out the way and everything. My skill setup, now I am thinking I can change a lot more in here because it wasn't optimum I was just trying out I just got my elite skill I just jumped in here as soon as I was 30 and I tried out barrage I also tried out the cooling the warband people to come and help me for a bit they were quite good and I was trying out barrage now and it was good uh, in a minute I do it and fortunately he just freaking flip, 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 teleports out the way just as I do it, it's so aggravating because it takes so long for your elite skill to come off cooldown. But I put, oh yeah, I did have a signet on which increased my run speed, and I thought that was pretty crap to be in the instant, so I changed it to the Sun Spirit, and also the healing spell. Out, out in the normal world, I'm using Troll Unjuent or however you say it, and this instance I decided to unlock Healing Well Spring, whatever I can't quite remember what's called but it's the one that makes an AoE and I thought that would help the party a lot more since um, there isn't designated healers so anything you can do to help everyone is great. Now at this point of the boss fight I apologise uh, there was slight lag and it was annoying me because I was trying to get this spell down and um, I couldn't and I was trying to attack and I was trying to dodge out his way but there is another couple of lag spikes which suck but it all clears up within the end. See, like, I'm just doing flipping a uh, quick shot for about half an hour. Oh yeah, and this place has um, things to explore in here, so don't forget that. Um, if you want to get like all the exploration within the game, then get it here. See, so, yeah, I'm nearly dead. I'm on one health. I tried to do my health spring, but the flipping uh, wolf is on me still. I do get a bit of health back, but then I'm down. Uh, which sucks. But then um, I look at the boss. He's lag. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Left lag. Sorry for lag. Here we go. I start attacking the boss, and I get uh, rallied from actually killing the boss, which is awesome. So there we go. All clears up, and uh, just spamming that move. I was nearly dead. Like you could see that the red bar just disappeared. But ah, within the in the end, we did it. We killed the boss, and his pet just uh, needs to be taken down finally. And the chest is to the left. Which uh, hopefully you'll see. I almost forgot to get it each time we did the boss. But don't. Because it's just there, that purple light. Before we switch to the third boss that we did. So this third boss was uh, pretty easy. There was only three of us by this time. You'll see that the portrait up in the top left there is blacked out for one of the guys. Means he uh, DC'd. He didn't want to do any more. But to be fair enough, we only said we were going to do two. But we went on to the third one. And this one was uh, pretty simple as well, to be honest. Uh, dodge the red circles on the floor and uh, kill the ghost ads they spawn, which aren't, well, they're more like zombie sort of things and they're not very hard. So yeah, he was, um, or she, was pretty easy. One tip I will say, look how this guy is always reviving me. I am downed a lot. That is one thing you've got to remember. Just, if you can, run over and heal up the guys that are on the floor. Maybe not if everyone is running over and healing up the guy on the floor because sometimes the boss can do like an AOE move or something like that and I've had it where we're reviving they stomp the ground and then everyone is down on the floor which is quite annoying so if you can see one person is healing them up then it's fine but if no one is try and get like one guy over there to help him out as you don't want just one guy throwing rocks on the floor and it you want the damage so there's the ads that spawn there's some beams or something and then they also spawn a flesh golem which is interesting well no it's not it's just like the necro there he is he's flipping annoying he just hits me and interrupts my good spells that i want to do um i'm not quite sure i didn't don't know why i didn't change my short bow right now that would have been the clever thing to do i do need to uh get up to date 
with the instance because out in the proper world I'm quite good at swapping weapons if they're close or far away things like that or if my pet is nearly dead I'm quite good at um, changing him in and out because I've got my bear and my spider is what I'm using right now I know I could probably use a different one in the instance because the bear is more of my tanky pet when I'm in the wild because he can um, bite and heal himself and stuff like that uh, the spider is quite good because he does a uh, what is it? AOE on the floor. So that's quite nice with a boss battle. But I could probably use my cat for like a lot more single target DPS. Or I've tamed a flipping pig. It's it's a proper fat pink pig. I I thought that was amazing. <laughs> it looks so retarded. Uh, I've also got a boss. So many pets to get. It's really good. I just got to think which one will suit the party the best because I can have some buffs or debuffs and things like that that can uh, really help long in the fight. So I shall uh, start wrapping up the video here. Um, watch out for full tactic video because this isn't a full run. This is only three bosses. I swear there's two more to do. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for it. It will be hopefully pretty good and informative. And everything will make it a bit easier to see what to do because it was my first run and luckily we had a guy to help us. So yeah, a video will help everyone, I hope. And thanks guys for watching, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if anything like that will help, and I am in a guild on this server, so if you want to join, it's the Gandara EU server, and just add me in game, I'll have my name underneath. So thanks guys for watching, and catch you next time, bye!